Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we're going to be doing the uh, small Rohan style uh, warehouse that we've got behind us. Uh, there's also going to be a default version of this which will be, well there'll be a link in the description to that video. Uh, if you guys want this one, but this is the Conquest Reforged mod version of uh, this tutorial. So, um, really really simple, it's literally just got like a, a half A frame kind of sticking out bit which I kind of like. Um, small place for your carts which uh, you always need a place to put your cart uh, after hard day all the way in the fields over there um, you do need to put your cart away so you know shove your cart in here a couple little bits of storage and generally it's just for storage it's a warehouse um, so it's got these two different sections could technically have this one for pigs or something um, totally up to you uh, but yeah we're going to jump into a flat world and we're just going to tutorial this one so here we are on the tutorial world materials wise what you're going to need guys birch beam hewn stones uh, that's the hewn stone tiles that is uh, dolomite Jungle frame planks, oak wood slab, and oak wood stairs. Those are just the basic materials you're going to need. You're just going to need some thatch and things like that, but uh, this will get us started. So, I've got the structure in front of us right now, so you can kind can of see the actual shape of it. It's very, very simple. Um, and we're actually going to start with this corner right here. So, if you grab your beam and go up by six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, we're then going to have a two block gap going to the side here. And then we're going to build a beam up by three blocks, one, two, and three, like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just going to step this up to make this kind of like half A frame that we got there. Right. And then around the side, we're going to put down three lots of hewn stone tiles. One, two, three. We're going to leave these all open on this bit. And then build this one up three blocks, one, two, three. Then we're going to go five, one, two, three, four, and five. And then again, three blocks going up. Go around to the back this time. Uh, two blocks of hewn. And then three blocks in your beam, two blocks in hewn, and three blocks as a beam, then three blocks, then three blocks as your beam, okay? Then one block of hewn, and then three blocks like that. So the pattern is pillar, two blocks, pillar, two blocks, pillar, three blocks, pillar, one block, pillar, okay? I if that helps. Then, same as the other side, we've just got five blocks going across here to end, end this kind of light bit. Then we go up by three blocks. Then here, one block. Then a pillar. Like that. We're going to leave three blocks. One, two, three. And then we're going to have a pillar. Leave two blocks. And then we're going to have six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Like that. So it's the same as the other one there. Right. So that's what you get for now. What we're going to then do uh, is we're actually going to build... Yeah, we're going to build the frame going up. So this one has a frame going up to there. And then the same on the other side here, we actually build this one up. Like that. Then on the sides of this building, we just build the framework going on each side. Like that. And the same on the other side. So there we go, build these ones up. Like that. Okay. That's it for your, your actual roof kind of bits. Uh, it's nice and simple. Next, we're just going to vary the actual stone. There is an actual wall going in the between here, but I prefer not to put stone on the inside. I, I think it works really well as an outside kind of material. Same with here as well. Um, I prefer to put just wood in there. So what we're going to do is just going to vary this a little bit and just build bits of it go up. That's what we're going to do. So for example, there, maybe uh, I'm going to leave those two actually. Leave that there. Might have two there, might have one there. Two on that side. Uh, and that's it. We might just go with that. And then just randomly put in bits of dolomite just as variation. So there we go. Put that in there. And there. Maybe one there. One up there and one down there and one up there. Uh, not there though. And like that. That's pretty much it. Done. Right. So now grab your jungle frame planks. And what we're going to do is going to build this up to this level here. So where have we got these stone bits? And just fill in each of the gaps. There we go, like this. Building all the way up, nice and simple. Same around here. Uh, and then just in this bit here, uh, just on this wall, I, I had a solid wall. Whoops, there we go, so put in one there. Um, and also in the middle, yeah, as well. We had a solid wall as well. Just like that. Super, super simple, right? So, grab some thatch, totally up to you guys what you want to use thatch colour wise, if you want the light one, um, dark one, whatever. Uh, I quite like for the Rohan styles the light thatch and also the brown thatch, both of those I think look really cool. Uh, so if we just grab the light thatch, or that's what I'm going to grab, I'm just going to layer these on top, 
but over this gap here, this one here, wrap this around, like that, and this one goes all the way around, and it goes, doesn't go forward like that, good god, no, <laughs> don't do that, right, bring this one across here, because I'm so used to like the normal ones without a half, half frame, I think that's the problem, so we have this here, this one goes around, put that one in there, and across the back, Across the back here. Right, this one. Oh, there you go. This one as well. Like that. There we go. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to have oakwood slab and stairs. Put your stairs on the side here, like this. Put that one down. Oops, put that one down there, like that. And we're going to have upside down stairs in as well. Of course, smooth this whole thing out because it needs to. And then put the flick on that we've been doing with the Rohan style, which is just a stair facing outwards on top of your stair, and that just makes that kind of like X, kind of cross shape. Uh, going across the top of this, so oakwood slabs. And also actually here as well, bring this one going across. Right to here, upside down stair here. Stairs going down, upside down stair here in, in there. And normal stair in here, and then we put in the X. Um, so otherwise it just looks rubbish I think, it just looks absolutely rubbish with just one on there uh, which is why we have this like sticky outy bit, it also makes it look a little bit better I, th I think it just kind of continues that style on put these on the out on the uh, kind of like outside bits as well, all of these that, upside down, upside down, normal, normal put these in there and put your cross kind of thing on grab your slab, put that under and bring that going all the way around to there um, you're also going to have this going underneath here and going across across this bit here, right to here and then we're actually going to have stairs going up this bit and then upside down stairs here, ignore the bit inside there, okay so we're going to get that and just around the outside of this bit then, so slabs underneath and bring it all the way underneath here and shove that in there, like that, okay nice and simple, really really nice and simple so, what's next? Um, what we're going to do next is, we're going to grab, I can't remember what material I actually use for this, so let's have a quick nosy. Uh, it turns out I actually use the use this as planks, which I don't like, so I'm actually going to change it already. Uh, so I'm actually going to grab the oak platform, I think it's better. I, I, I overuse this block uh, loads, but I just love it. So if you get the slab and you also get the stair of that, uh, we're going to put in the stairs in this bit, and then put in the slabs going here, like this. Now for inside of this, uh, what I think I went with is actually oak wood planks and also the oak, uh, the wooden supports as well. So I actually use this in here because I think it just looked well, it just looks awesome anyway. But uh, it's just it's just a brilliant block. So I'm gonna put that in and also build this wall right the way up to the top. So it's like a supporting wall as well. Let me just put that in there and then yeah, blocks right in the middle. Then don't ask me what I did for each of these side bits. I've got a feeling it would have been a trapdoor. So if you grab the trapdoor version of this, you're going to shove that in, including on each of these corners. There you go. So let me get that and that. Yeah, that looks like something I'd do. Um, and then the middle as well, like that. And then your wooden supports. And down here as well, like that. Same again over here. Same again over here. Uh, with your trapdoors, just put that in there because it covers it up uh, without you know taking anything away from this lip. And that still looks like it's angled. Then I quite like it. So what we can do now is we can vary the roof. Nice and simple. So if we grab our light thatch, uh, this is the way I do it anyway. Totally up to you guys um, how you do it. So I grab the uh, trapdoor, the slab, and also the stair. Pretty much just mess the roof up. So I'll take out bits. I'll add bits on top. Um, and as you guys have probably noticed, I have no real style with this, I just kind of do it. Um, <laughs> just, I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but it seems to just work. Um, yeah, just pretty much just vary it all. Like this. I uh, don't like that at all. I really don't like that. Wow. Not like what I just did at all. So I think if I do that, it's fine. Um, so we go put these in here. Have this one going there and so that. And put that in there and then grab our... You know, trap doors to vary to even more. Just adds in that extra bit of height. Uh, those like different height differences. Just makes it look so much better, I think. There we go. Something like that. Do. Same on the other side. 
I typically put slabs in here as a starter. Um, so it just starts me off on a on a kind of like a, a very, you know, lumping up those bits and building up that bit. Uh, and I think it just looks quite cool. Doesn't mean that it does, but uh, it just means that I think it does. So there we go. Put those in there like that, and then we'll have some trapdoors stair there, for example, and trapdoor this up. There you go, so I'll have one in there instead. There you go. So now that'll do. And then the back bit, this one I hate because um, it's just so flat. So I ended up um, or end up doing something like this where we actually lump up behind, like kind of like in the middle of this one, it's in order to try and get some detail going on. It doesn't always work, but uh, there you go, like that. That is, I've kind of somehow flattened it actually instead of uh, building it up. So that's completely the opposite of what I wanted to do. I think it's because of this bit sticking out here. I think we need it's actually more blocks so that we can put uh, slabs and stuff on it. Maybe even if we did something like this where we have it like bumping up and down and, and that one in the middle. Nope, not that one in the middle. Maybe that one in the middle then. There's something in the middle there. Or have it going just to there. The slab. There we go. Something like that will do. Anyway, build up this as well. Uh, again, it's just variation. Like this, there, and one there, and around here as well, putting a bit of variation around these bits, like this. Maybe we'll have a slab over there, maybe we'll have some stuff over here, who knows? That's all complete, completely random. <laughs> it just, just seems to work the best way to make these roofs look good, I think. So they just, just is completely random, it doesn't affect the inside as well, which is really good. Right, okay, so. Materials just for the floor because I did do a, a little bit of an interior type thing uh, with this one. So if we just grab like stuff like dark dirt path, dolomite, medium dirt path, soft gravel, uh, medium dirt path. I already said that one, didn't I? Some materials like that will do. Um, we'll grab a couple of those. Uh, we'll grab some of these. Actually, we've got some crates. A so grey crate. We've got the covered crate. Wooden crate. Uh, a rat. No, we won't grab a rat. We'll grab the tan crate as well. Maybe we'll put a rat in there. We could do. Why not? Um, who needs, who, who, you know, might need some more. Right, so I'm going to start off with the Dark Dirt Path as being my base material. So I'm pretty much just going to fill it in there. Uh, I just find this, this works a lot better. It's so much easier to then vary it because, you know, you've got you've got something as your main material and then you're just, just adding bits and bobs to it, really. To try and, you know, add your variation in. This. And we're almost there. Whew, there we go. So there we go, we've got our base material, so that's just to put in a little bit of stone every, every so often, you know, a bit of that. Come on, maybe not one that's actually sticking up like a, a, an actual big stone. Um, that might help, but uh, stuff like this. It just kind of like mixes in quite nicely, I think, the, the dolomite. A uh, bit of medium dirt as well, just to add in that lighter tone. A variation. In the corner there, maybe one over there. Over there as well, and there. Okay, here we go. Of course, this is easier with World Edit, but I'm trying to do it by hand for those people that have to do it by hand, so they get a kind of idea of it. And then a bit of soft gravel as well. I think looks really cool. I like the soft gravel texture. I think it's a brilliant texture. Um, what would we do without it? I don't know what I'd do without it actually <laughs> at all. So as strange as that sounds. But it just mixes in so well with everything. Right then, okay, so if we just grab the platform that we've got here, I'm going to build up this going to here, because this is what I did in the other one. So we had like this double layer on this one. This side I just completely filled with stuff. I mean, it's just like, just crate galore, you know. Um, so we might as well have some crates in here. Oops, we're out trying to punch through the wall there. Helps helps if I can actually place the blocks as well. Right, so we've got some of those there. We've got some of these tan crates, which I don't like as much. 
don't know. I just don't. I just don't think they look as good. I don't know why. I think it's like this one looks really cool. Might be just because it looks too too like monotone. I think, but I'm not really too sure. I haven't decided. I'm gonna shove, I shove a rat in there. Not not floating though. We're not gonna have a flying rat. We're gonna have a rat on the floor or something like that. Make it really simple. You can put you know shells up. I mean, I'm not gonna do a lot of um this because. Most of the people that do, uh, you know, conquest anyway, know how to do interiors and things like that. It's just uh, more ideas, I guess. For those that are starting out, I guess put a crate in there, for example. Uh, that's actually a lot further back than the one I had before. You could technically have like a little table or something, you know. Maybe we could have a table uh, with some tools on it or something, you know. So they've, they've, you know, somebody, somebody's like come here and they've, uh, they've started to repair one of their carts. Perhaps. Why the hell is that not wanting to go the way I want it to go? You know, have it stuck in like that. Some tools on it. So yeah, there we go. We've got somebody that's you know repairing a car or something. I don't know. Like that will do. Um, there we got thatch. So I like this thatch for you know doing bits and bobs. So I might have some that's fallen over down here, uh, a bit up there, and just one up there like that. And there you go. You've got the bit that's fallen off. And then yep, a couple of crates. This time I'm going to go for more food stuff, so stuff like cabbages and hops and apples and things like that, you know. Maybe even in the sacks rather than anything else, so sack of potatoes for example. Um, I have some of these up here. So we got a couple of these just like randomly around. Like that, maybe. Maybe that looks a bit strange because there's too much of it. I think there's too much of it, I think just a little bit. Very weird that that completely changes the colour of it, but... Whatever, <laughs> we'll go with it. I guess I have something like that in there. Um, yeah, potatoes. Oops, that's definitely not potatoes. There you go, potatoes, and maybe we'll have some apples again. In this bit, we'll have some cabbage. Everyone loves cabbage, right? Uh, and beetroot and things like this. You know, just fill it with detail. It's very difficult to do quickly in Conquest <laughs> to fill with detail, which is exactly what I'm trying to do. It's so difficult because there's just too much, too much you can do, really, isn't there? That's the problem. So I don't know. Oops, I did not mean to destroy those apples. Get them back. Probably not in the same place, can we? No. Well, that'll do for now. You know, something like that. Um, barrels and things like that also obviously work. Um, a treat. Barrels are they're just a brilliant texture again. A random texture. I've got some extra barrels because of a custom NPC mod. But yeah, barrels. Oh. Just amazing. So yeah, have a couple of those around. But that's pretty much it, guys. Really, really simple tutorial. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, comment, like, subscribe. I will see you on the next one.